guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how I hemmed the bottom edge of the dress that I'm wearing right now with a bias tape. And I will also show you how I extended the belt that goes with this dress with a piece of bias tape. I made this dress about eight years ago, back then, when I didn't even know I could have something like a YouTube channel where I would share my projects with you guys. I didn't have enough fabric for the belt, that's why it ended up being a little bit too short. And I made the dress back then a bit longer. And a few days ago I was going through my wardrobe and I was looking for pieces I wasn't wearing um, that often lately. And I thought like I would wear this dress much more often if it were a little bit shorter. So I've decided to make the bottom edge shorter. And I have also decided to film it because I thought using a bias tape might be interesting, especially for sewing beginners. So if you want to know how I hemmed my bottom edge of this dress and how I extended the belt, then please keep watching. This is how the bottom of my dress looked like once I shortened it. I always make sure my dresses and skirts are a bit longer in the back so that the butt wouldn't lift it and it wouldn't look shorter from the side. And I find that it makes much nicer line when you wear it. Here is my bias tape. I found one that matches my dress perfectly. However, if you don't find one that would match exactly the shade of your dress, you could also use one with a pattern or in a contrast shade. So it's absolutely up to you. You could also make your own personalized bias tape with bias tape formers and strips of fabric. I have several widths of bias tape formers, but I will cover that in one of my future videos. Now, let's start. I opened one edge of the bias tape and I have aligned it with the bottom of my dress. I made sure that the bias tape was a bit longer at the ends of my dress. And then it looked like this. The fold was exactly where I wanted to sew. And I also pinned the bias tape the same way at the end of my belt. I started with the belt. I have sewn the bias tape in place with a regular straight stitch. Once that was done, I folded the bias tape on my belt upwards. Then I folded the sides inwards and I have pinned them in place. I have sewn the sides through with a straight stitch. And then I have sewn the end with the bias tape on the belt with a straight stitch in two rows. Then my belt looked like this. Next, I have sewn the bias tape on the bottom of my dress, also with regular straight stitch and also in the fold. And then I folded the bias tape upwards. Next, I folded the sides inwards. And then I have folded the bias tape once more and I have pinned it in place. I have sewn through the edge with a straight stitch. And then I was done. Now first let's have a look at the belt. So before I sew in the bias tape, I could barely hide it underneath the loop. And now you can see that there's a little piece showing. And this is so much more comfortable. I'm really happy that I could change that since I didn't have enough fabric for the belt. And the bias tape was the solution. 
And now the bottom edge. I personally like this length. This is my favorite skirt length. It's a little bit more than a palm above my knee. This is how I like wearing my skirt. And when I turn to the side, you can see that the dress is a tiny little bit longer in the back, but it's barely noticeable. And this is how I prefer having it. So overall, this is definitely what I was aiming for. I'm really happy with the result. I like the dress a little bit more than I did before because I like that it is shorter and I also love the fact that I could make the belt a little bit longer. It is so much more comfortable this way. I don't have to worry about the end sliding out of the loop. So now it's gonna stay in place. Uh, it was also a very short project. I think it would take you something around 30 minutes. It took me a little bit longer because I was moving the lights and the camera, of course, but other than that, it's definitely less than an hour. So it's, of course, something that is also very positive. So if you have a skirt or a dress that you want to have, definitely try the bias tape because no need for a zigzag. It goes very fast and you have a nice clean edge. Unfortunately, I do not have a tutorial for this dress because, as I have already mentioned, I made this uh, dress years ago, back then when I still didn't have a YouTube channel. However, I am planning on making a very similar dress for winter. So I think it should be around September or October when I will start working on it and I will definitely film it for you guys. So a tutorial for a similar dress is going to be on my channel in future. And that was my video for today. If you liked it, don't forget to give the video a thumb up. You can also share it with anyone who you think might find this video useful and who would be interested in this project. You can also follow me on Instagram. All of my Instagram accounts are linked down below. And of course, I would be incredibly happy if you would subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. And that way you won't also miss any further projects. I have listed any related videos down below together with a few things that might be interesting for you. And thank you so much for watching. I was, as usual, very happy to be able to share a project with you guys. I wish you a wonderful day and I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Bye!